Hello and welcome to Hawk Day Live. Oh no, it's not Hawk Day Live. <laughs> <laughs> it's Hawk College Week Live. College Week Live. Sorry, 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 sorry. sorry. Okay. Take three. Hello and welcome to. Are we, la are we laughing again? Okay. Are we laughing again? Everyone's ready. Sorry, sorry, sorry. And take four. Hello and welcome to College Week Live. We are here at Holy Names University talking about Hawk Day and what you will experience during your Hawk Day experience. Uh, we are here with some wonderful staff from Holy Names University. We're going to talk to you one by one about the different aspects of Hawk Day. So without further ado, Freddie, take it away. All right. Thank you, Justin. Hi, I'm Freddie Castillo. I'm currently a bio major, a senior, and a commuter here at Holy Names University. My Hawk Day went pretty well. The two more, the two most important things that I remember from my Hawk Day were one, registering for classes, learning about financial aid, and the second would be meeting new people and meeting new friends. And the second one really struck out to me the most because I actually met a friend and I exchanged my phone numbers with them and I actually wrote to orientation with them. And had I not done that, I don't think I would have met as m many as the people I did as I would not have. That sounds weird. But uh, I'm also the summer Hawk Day intern, which means I'm basically preparing for you guys to come on Hawk Day and I've been preparing fun events fun activities with the whole group, and I really hope that you come here and you enjoy it, and I'd love to see you guys here. Thank you. Hi, my name is Casey LaBarbera, and I'm the Holy Names University, or HNU Experience Coordinator, um, and I'm excited to talk to you about what you can expect from your Hawk Day leader. Um, so we know that this is your first time stepping onto campus as a brand new Hawk, and that adventure is very exciting, but can also be a little bit scary. Um, so we want you to know that when you come for Hawk Days, you'll be partnered with a group of 10 to 15 other students, and that group will be led by a current student um, and a Hawk Day leader. So that Hawk Day leader is a sophomore, junior, or senior that is a student just like you. So they've literally been walking through the exact same steps as you have um, and have learned what it means to be successful on campus, um, know what kind of questions to answer, know the resources that you might need to know, and really be that first guide that you'll meet um, when you get to campus. Um, so that Hawk Day um, leader will be um, a part of every aspect of the day. They'll be doing every activity with you, going to all the workshops, and really being that insider's guide to give you helpful tips, skills, and, and answer any questions and help with any concerns that you might have. So the role of the Hawk Day leader is to help you get connected and start an introduction to campus. Um, so they'll be helping you meet different faculty and staff that can help you throughout your time here at HNU. Um, as well as help you connect to one another. Um, so just like what Freddie said, you can meet another student um, and start those connections even before you start in the fall. Um, and so that doesn't have to stop during Hawk Days. Um, that is somebody that you'll see when you return a campus in the fall um, and somebody you can continue to reach out to, ask questions, and really be that guide over the, your whole first year here on campus. Hi, I'm Vanessa Aaron, and I'm one of the graduate assistants for campus events and student activities, and I am a master's student. Uh, looking at education. So first I just kind of want to share a brief overview of the schedule of the student for Hawk Day. So to start off with breakfast and check-in in one of our in one of our courtyards and you'll be able to meet your fellow Hawk Day leader, also other students, and then from there we will break into smaller group sessions and have some icebreakers. And then from there there will be different sessions throughout the day. One of them is they live like a hawk. So for one of them for that one you'll be able to learn life outside of classes. I'm going to learn about the clubs and organizations, some intramurals that we'll have for the first time this year, so that's very exciting, and really just kind of the vibe around campus outside of classes. The next session will be the will be the Learn Like a Hawk, and for that one you'll have a chance to meet with advisors, learn about majors, how to register for classes, and really kind of the essence of advising, and kind of learn the background behind that. And then one of the last sessions is the Money Matters session, and for that one you'll have a chance to learn about student accounts and what that is, and kind of also the important aspects of financial aid. And then, the, and then the ending portion of it will be kind of a preview of orientation, what you can expect. And then for their closing, it's really just kind of a fun and welcoming day, and we are very excited to have you here. Hello, parents and families and students. Uh, we are, uh, my name is Gustavo Garcia. I'm the Campus Events and Student Activities Graduate Assistant. Uh, we are happy to have you. Uh, we thank you, and uh, I want to just thank you for all your work that you've been doing with your students and for promoting higher education for themselves. Um, what we have 
for you guys, for parents and families, is uh, a continental breakfast, which uh, will be served in the morning. Uh, following by that is uh, some sessions. These sessions are going to be geared at some towards families and parents, and others towards students. Uh, during the particular ones for parents and families, uh, you can see in these sessions that there's going to be uh, nuts and bolts, uh, where parents will be uh, learning about um, ways in which they could empower and help their students uh, navigate uh, the school systems and um, basically help them like purchase books, uh, register for classes, and learn all those things, and also ask questions at the end. Uh, there's also going to be a session uh, for money matters, which uh, there's going to be um, the um, student aid uh, that's going to be there. Um, Financial aid is going to be there, um, and uh, we'll be answering any questions that you may have about financial accounts or anything like that. Um, that's going to proceed with also a campus tour, where um, parents will be able to see the campus and see where their students will be staying. Um, there's also going to be a session where um, parents are going to be able to uh, see from a panel of uh, students that have been here um, and kind of get an idea of what other students have uh, been through and uh, get a, a sense of what their students might be looking forward to. Uh, we also want to let you guys know that we will be having Spanish speaking staff uh, throughout the day that will be here for you and uh, for any help that you may need. So, Great. Hi, I'm Gary Shea Youngblood. I am the GA for New Student Programs and Leadership here at Holy Names. I am also in my final year in the Masters of Counseling and Forensic Psychology. Now, if we were to think of Hog Day, as a one-day practice in the summer leading up to bigger events, that bigger events being orientation or the playoffs, um, and then leading further into the big game, which is our Connections Project, which is a semester-long program in the actual school year. So if we were going to keep with this whole sports analogy, then the awesomeness adventure would be meeting your new teammates or the incoming class of 2022 or chatting it up with your coaches, which are the lovely Hawk Day leaders. And then reading your playbook, which is the CPFYE, or Connections Project First Year Experience Common Reading. This year we chose All American Boys by Jason Reynolds and Brendan Keeley. It's an awesome book. You're going to love it. But most importantly, here at HNU, we value the experience of all students, mainly the first year students participating in our CPFYE program. So it recognizes the diversity of their experience of the students and helps to incorporate their uniqueness by offering inclusive activities put on by our peer mentors. In our Connections Project, students will be separated into three learning communities, which is service, social justice, and leadership. Hi everybody, I'm Justin Vaca. I'm the Director of Housing and Residence Life here at Holy Names University. And in the residence halls, we really want to establish a welcoming environment for all students, including commuter students. And I recognize that some of you may be commuting to Holy Names uh, during your first years at, at HNU, but we want to welcome you with open arms and all the events and activities that we do on campus, you are welcome to join us. You're welcome to come visit your friends in the residence halls. In fact, we encourage it. Um, we're committed to helping residents create this positive learning and living environment within the residence halls where you're going to be challenged, but you're also going to be supported. We have peer leaders on all the floors that are called resident assistants or RAs as you might have heard them before. They're here to be a resource for you throughout your years living on campus at HNU. We really feel that living on campus is going to help you grow outside of the classroom. Like I said before, we're going to challenge and support you. You're going to learn the skills necessary to be successful after college. Things like conflict resolution, things like Learning about how your personal choices affect the greater community. Those are really important things that you will learn if you live on campus at Holy Names. Now, the residence halls themselves. We have four residence halls on campus at Holy Names University. Dunn, Durache, Feehan, and Founders. Now those first three I mentioned, Dunn, Feehan, and Durache, are traditional undergraduate residence halls, whereas Founders Hall is for 21 and over community. Uh, all of our buildings are co-ed, but there are some floors in our residence halls that are gender specific. All floors have community style bathrooms, and most are double occupancy. That means 
that you're going to have a roommate and it's going to be wonderful. Uh, all rooms are furnished with extra long twin beds, desk and chairs, as well as very spacious closets and dressers that we have in all residence halls. And some unique amenities that we have in the residence halls at Holy Names are a vanity sink, which means you don't have to go all the way to the bathroom to brush your teeth at night, as well as mini fridges in all rooms so you can store that extra snack that you want to have late at night. There's also cable TV and wired and wireless internet in all rooms. Now, before we get ahead of ourselves, the first thing you need to do is apply for housing. Now, if you've already applied, great, wonderful, you're ahead of the game. But if you haven't, wait until the end of this video, but you want to go on to hnu.edu slash housing and apply. It's an easy four-step process. The first step is an online housing application, of course. It's very easy to do doesn't take more than 10 minutes and then it's going to ask you to submit a housing deposit which is separate from your enrollment deposit as well as a housing acceptance form and finally the last little thing you need to do is submit a copy of your immunization records. Once you've done that you'll be contacted by me later in the summer with your housing assignment and your move-in information. So whether you're beginning your collegiate experience or you're continuing your education, we feel that the, house, the Office of Housing and Residence Life is really going to um, help you grow as a student and we really hope that you join us living on campus at Holy Names. So that is all we have for you today on College Week Live. We hope that you've learned a thing or two about Holy Names and specifically the Hawk Day experience. We look forward to seeing you in the months to come at your Hawk Day. Bye. Bye.